Hello guys, welcome back to Pause and welcome to Mega Aquarium. So this is a brand new game that is coming out very soon and the developers have given me a key to have a very early look at this game. Um, so I don't know that much about it, all I know is that you sort of make your own aquarium. It's basically a simulation game for aquarium building from what I understand. Um, so thank you again, thank you to the uh, developers. Um, this game is coming out very soon um, and I'll put all the information below in the description for links to the Steam page, the websites and all that good stuff. So do check out those links uh, and give this game some love if it's the kind of thing you're into. Um, and on the subject of that, if this content, content, um, if this content is the kind of thing you're into, simulation games, um, aquariums I don't know and then consider subscribing to the channel and don't forget to give the video a big like if you enjoy it so let's jump in to a new game um, this is the first time I've loaded it up so you'll be seeing it with fresh eyes like I am um, so let's jump in and just figure out what this game is and um, so let's have a look difficulty cam oh, so it's com campaigns that's not what I expect I thought it was like a sandbox but that's interesting so difficulty levels easy normal hard but that's so normal just because I don't really know what to do uh, and we'll jump in to sunny side so learn the basics here establishing a small aquarium from scratch okay that sounds quite interesting so let's jump in and have a look so, welcome to Sunnyside. You've been tasked with building a small aquarium from scratch here at Sunnyside. Uh, before the investors release any funding, you want to make sure you can handle the basic controls, complete the objectives in the top right of the screen uh, to prove that you know what you're doing. For more information on any objective, simply hover over the info button on the right of it. Good luck. Uh, okay. Oh my god, there's a big lot of UI going on here. Ooh, right. Before we do anything, let me just quickly turn down the volume as it seems a little bit loud. There we go, 30 will do us. Right, resume. So, hover over the info button. If you ever get stuck on a particular objective, hover over. Oh, wonderful, thank you. Pan the camera, hold the right mouse button and move the mouse. There we go, we've done that. Orbit camera, uh, hold the middle mouse button to move in. Um, okay. Oh, there we go. Lovely. Perfect. Oh, it's got kind of like a slidey walk mechanic. That's weird, isn't it? Uh, a zoom camera, I'm guessing, is the scroll wheel. Yeah. Oh, God, you can go in far, can't you? I thought I broke it then. <laughs> yeah, that's a good zoom. I'll be honest with that. That is a very good, very good zoom. Uh, return home. You can press the home key to return home. As in the home key on my keyboard? Yes, you can. Excellent. Thank you. Great stuff. You just unlocked your first round of funding. Use the money to get basic requirements of your aquarium set up. These are covered in the new set of objectives you've just been given. By the way, if you need to review this or any of the message, you can do so in the bottom left corner of the screen. Thanks. So here, I'm guessing, in the... No, there, there, that one, that one, that one. Okay, so build a basic tank. Uh, tanks provide space for your livestock to live. Build things using the build menu over the left side of the screen. Click the large button with the tank on it and look for a tank called basic tank. Once selected, hover the cursor over empty part of your aquarium and click build. Um, okay, this seems interesting so far. Basic, but I know this is just a tutorial, I assume. Right, so, is this a tank here? Yeah, basic tank. Um, I think we put a basic tank in there. Uh, oh, I want two. I want two of those. Okay. Basic tank there, and we want another basic tank. Yeah, there, so we can view all the way around the edge. Uh, attach a basic filter to each tank. Uh, filters help keep the water in your tanks clean. You'll find the basic filter in the equipment section in the build mode. Look for the button with the cog and water on it. Okay, so that's this one. Uh, basic filter. So we do this, does that just go in? Oh, okay, that has to go next to the tank. Okay, so that's there. Uh, a basic heater, so that's in here as well. There we go, and there we go. Uh, add some azure demos. Mm, yeah, what that word? Fish and other livestock are uh, are what bring guests to your aquarium. Whenever a guest observes your livestock, you gain points. You can find the that thing under the livestock selection. Uh, section of your build menu. Look for the button with the fish on it. Okay, that one. Uh, oh, it's a type of fish then. <laughs> okay, I'm not good at pronouncing things, so that's not really going to happen, is it? Uh, do I just press it? Two, three. Uh, do I put just eight in there? Yeah. All right. There we go. An animal in this tank needs to be fed. Orange palette. Uh, go ahead, come back. 
Oh, to each tank. Oh, Christ. Um, uh, let's add some more to that one. There we go. Uh, add some decorations to your tanks. Find them under the tank decorations. Okay, so that'll be this one, I assume. Uh, sea lettuce. Okay, I want some rocks in the other one. There we go. Build an olet oh, an orange palette dispenser. Uh, you can find these in the tools, which is this one. Does that have to come into the the thing, or do I just put that? Okay, how do I rotate? It's probably going to tell me, but I didn't. Oh, scroll mouse wheel to rotate. Okay, so that can go there. Build a tool station. Is that in here as well? Tool station. Yeah, I can go there. Um, hire a an aquarist. Is that how you pronounce it? Aquarist, I think. Um, staff look after your livestock by making sure they get fed each day and by maintaining the equipment. Later on, you'll also need staff to enrich your guest visits. Hire staff via the staff window. Open during the button with the man and the woman standing at the bottom right of the screen. This little thing here. Um, so hire and manage. Right. So Anna or Harry. Anna's slightly cheaper for some reason. Um, so what skills do we have? Fitness, not really. That's not really relevant, is it? Skills, feeding and fixing. Feeding. So he's better at fixing. She's better at feeding. I think we'll go her. I think Anna will hire. hire. Yeah, there you go. And there she is. Um, I feel we're paused. Is that because we're not? Okay, open the aquarium. There we go. Well done, your basic aquarium is up and running, and your first guest has arrived. Whenever a guest enters the aquarium, they'll pay you some dollar to enter. In addition, as they experience your displays, they'll reward you with ecology. Uh, little flower thing. With points which you can use to unlock new animals. Okay, that's good. Right then, so pick your next ecology. So this is what... So we've unlocked this, I'm guessing, because he's just looked at my tank. So now we can get an orchid dotty back. Okay. So great job, you've started researching your animal. Um, as you earn more points, you'll make progress towards unlocking it. You can see your progress in the bottom left of the screen. Okay, that makes sense. So as soon as more people look at my, my stuff, this cool character, um, I get more points and more fish. Okay. Well, there's no point going over there, love. There's nothing over there. It's a nice wall. Um, oh, there's all kind of stuff, though, look. Stairs and things. So there's quite there's more to this. Um, okay, so... We've unlocked the Orchid Dotty back. Uh, now it's time for you to buy some... Uh, now it's time to buy some for your aquarium. <laughs> okay, thanks. So, pause the game. Pause games. Let's pause the game. There we go. Expand your floor space. Click and drag. What? Click and drag what? What am I expanding? Expand your aquarium's floor space to make room for the new tank. First select the expand tool at the top left of the screen. Look for a button with four tiles on it. This badger, I assume. Um, can we just expand like that? Oh, there we go. That was nice and simple. Build a large tank. Click and drag. Um, you can move fish and. Yes, yeah, thank you. We'll figure that out in a bit. Right, let's get out of this view. This is. There we go. Right, large tank. Um, wait a minute, how do I do that then? When you build a tank drag it out to a large size. So this one I means I can drag it out. Oh bloody Jesus you can, look at that. There we go. Does that count as a large tank? I kinda wanna move it over here though. There we go. Uh, practice oh moving the tank. I take that one already. Uh, add a basic heater, yep the usual gubbins. Let's do that which was in this one. That one and that one. Okay. And add some orchid dotty backs. Let's just add a few for now. There we go. Wonderful. Uh, wait, I need two sticks. I didn't didn't read it. I did not read it. Wait. Oh, there we go. Done. Uh, different care requirements. As you may notice, a set of icons attached to each animal you research uh, and acquire. These are known as the animal's care requirements. Failure to meet these will reduce the health of your animal and could lead to death. Your investors have arranged for you to access a new fish called the Half and Half Chromis. Let's take a look at its requirements. The Half and Half Chromis has a requirement you haven't encountered before. It is a scholar, 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 uh, scholar, 
Schula. This means it is, I'm not good with words. This means it likes to be with a minimum number of its own kind. Demonstrate your understanding of care requirements by satisfying the requirements of the half and half uh, chromis in a new tank. So is that this? Yeah. So it needs four in a school. And size it needs. Okay, so that. Okay, right. So let's add in. Let's expand the floor space a bit more. It doesn't seem to be costing me too much money to do that. And um, we're going to add in a new tank against that wall just here. We're going to put in our filter and we're going to put in our heater. And then we're going to put in the half and half, which they want at least four. So we're going to put one, two, three, four. There we go. Now you've got a few different species of fish in your aquarium you should be able to rank up soon. Ranking up will instantly unlock new equipment, decorations and facilities and increase the repertoire of animals which are available to research. Uh, there's more. The higher you rank, the more guests you attract and the more they are willing to pay to enter the aquarium. Ranking up occurs as a result of generating prestige uh, points. These are earned whenever a guest buys uh, I guess enjoy something in your aquarium. There are many ways to earn prestige, but you'll earn the majority with your animals, uh, tanks and decorations. Your next objective is to rank up, after which you'll be able to unlock some more animals. Okay, so let's add in some sea lettuce, first of all, to these things. Make them look a bit more exciting. Okay, there we go. Right, so reach rank... Oh, I've done it already. <laughs> that was uh, easy. I don't know if I did that because I put them in, but we've done the task, so that's good. Rank up. Yay. Amazing. So what have we unlocked? A staff door, combi mini. Oh, good, so that'll give us both uh, heating and filtering. Uh, driftwood cave. And now we've got King Dead... Oh, I can't read words. Okay. Uh, now you want rank 2, you have access to more animals, you're going to unlock them at one at a time and uh, ensure each of their care requirements are met. Okay. Pick your next one. Yep, yeah, we're going to have this guy. So obviously we have to research that thing again. So for the time being, let's... Um, can we see what requirements he needs? Or can I not do that yet? Okay, I can. So I need two prestige points. Um, the, you need quite a bit of space. He needs it to... Yeah. He needs heat, um, good quality, food. A wimp cannot be housed with a bully. So does he just need to be on his own then? Possibly. So that could be a small tank. So let's just add a little tank here just to put him in. Um, and we can test out the combi. So this gives us... Uh, yeah, that gives us a what we need. Uh, let's give him some kind of... Oh yeah, Driftwood Cave. He can have one of them. So he can hide. Um, come on folks. Start giving me some more ecology points or whatever it is. So I can get this guy. Should we just speed it up a little? There we go. We'll get everyone running around. Go on kids. We're almost there. Yay! So now I've got the king thing. King thing. Um, you've unlocked the king thing. Uh, the king thing is a timid beauty, in other words, a wimp. Don't house him with any animals with the bully tag. Oh, right, I get it. So he can just... He doesn't have to be on his own. He just can't be with any other fish that are going to bully him. That's fine. Well, we'll just add him on his own for now. But I've had a couple in there, I guess. Um, can I add more? Okay, so now I've got some um, Arabian blue lined dotty back. Okay, let's add that one in. Um, okay, that's good. So, to, uh, so I can still add more fish in there. Let's add some more of them because I quite like them. There we go. Um, okay, so we're getting there. I mean, it's quite interesting this. Um, how do I add stuff to the walls? It said I had, like, staff door. Okay, does that just literally just go, like, there? It's literally just a door. <laughs> they can't do anything in there. Uh, well, oh, God, no, we could actually. Let's add another room. How do I do that? Okay, if I just... 
do that. And then do I have to add a wall at the other side, I assume? Is that not going to just work as a door? Maybe I have to move it again. Let's try this. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll put one on that side. Does that work if I move this? Just so it's a bit hidden out of the way. Or do I have to like... Maybe I have to do that. Is that how we do it? I don't know. <laughs> I hope so, but I just want stuff to be a bit separate. Wait, where's my staff member? Is it you? Yeah, it's you. Well, that's, I think, that's how we add rooms. I don't know. I mean, I assume at some point they're going to start building this out into a bit more of a world, so it's just not more, so it's just not like a floating building, but... I mean, I quite like the idea they're going for. Um, so I've got the new Arabian Blue Lined Dotty back. Um, so uh, what? let's take a look. Uh, it's a pugnacious little fellow. Uh, they are bullies and will terrify any animal with the wimp tag, such as the king thing. You unlocked earlier. Okay, so let's just add its own tank again. I mean, this is, this is probably not what you're meant to do. Just adding tanks willy-nilly, but that's what I'm going to do. And that goes in there. Um... Okay, so let's add the combi there, and let's just add a couple of these things in. Okay, there we go, yellow tang. Uh, I don't like how it clicks you off it once you're doing that. There we go. Uh, let's add some stuff, sea lettuce, there we go. Wonderful. Uh, so, that's basically just the game, I guess, so far. We just keep unlocking stuff, expanding, building an aquarium. Um, and yeah, I think it's working quite well. Oh, and she's got food now, which means she must have gone in here. Maybe I missed it. Let's have a look. She uses my doors. Oh, she does use my doors. Wonderful. She kind of walks through the doors, but she uses them nonetheless. Um, okay, so I think that's a good first look, really, at um, this game. I mean, I'm sure there's plenty more to it. And I think there's something we'll probably cover again um, in another video. Uh, just to get a little bit more in depth, so I'm gonna play a little bit more through, unlock a few more things, and just really see what we can sort of add to this. Because I assume down the line this sort of adds toilets, food outlets, just from looking at the icons. I'm assuming there's gonna be a lot more stuff for this game and different platforms and things. So um, I think we'll just I'll play through the rest of these sort of tutorial level um, off camera, and then we'll come back in the next video. Uh, and just sort of see where this game will take us. Um, so we've just unlocked the yellow tank, so we'll have a play with that next time. Uh, so this adds a new thing, look, where I need plants in there. So there's different requirements for different fish, and I quite like that. And it gives it a little bit of uh, uniqueness to each one. So, uh, thank you guys for watching this uh, first look at Mega Aquarium. Like I said, there will be another video out in a couple of days um, once I've played through a little bit more of this tutorial and I'll really sink my teeth into what we can do with this game. Um, so, thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to give us a like down below. Um, all the information about the game will be in the description, so do check that out. Um, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe. And if you've got any queries, questions, comments or suggestions, drop those down as well. And I'll try and answer every single one. So, for now, guys, thank you ever so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.